Hello fellow agents and secret network community. This is Anubis, and today we will continue to learn how to manage your view keys for your private wallets. In this guide, we will cover how to copy your view key for backing up and use them on other devices. Then we will learn how to use a view key to see SNP20 private transactions so you can share them with a third party when you need to. And then we will learn how to revoke access to the viewing key if you no longer want them to have access to your data. Let's start by opening the Kepler wallet. Click on the menu button on the left and select token list. In this example, we are going to use SSCRT, which is the SNP20 private version of SCRT. Click the copy icon on the right and you'll see it says viewing key copied. Now that you have it copied, you can store that in a safe place as a backup. You can also use that key on another device if you decide to have the same wallet on more than one. Just add your own view key in the advanced option when adding a token instead of creating a new one. Now, let's see how to use this to see private transactions. We're going to go to btn.group slash secret network slash transactions. I will leave the link in the description. Now, from here, you must make sure that you have selected SNP20 for the type and selected SSCRT from the drop-down list to make sure that you have the right token. We're going to have to copy our wallet address from Kepler and then paste it into the address bar. We're going to have to recopy the view key back into menu, token list, copy, and paste it into the view key bar. Then we hit search. Now we can look at all of the history of this wallet using S secret. Not much here since I just made the wallet for the video. My other wallets are a secret after all. Here we can see the transactions, contracts, and amounts. Simply click on the address to view the details in the Explorer. So now we know how to use and share view keys. Now, Let's see how we can revoke access to the view keys. Let's get the contract address for SSCRT by visiting one of the DEXs or analytics sites. We'll find the token and copy the contract just like this. Click the copy, and then we bring up Kepler. We'll go back into the menu, add token. We'll paste the contract address into the bar just like if we were adding the token for the first time. We're going to submit it like this so it regenerates a new view key, which will disable the old one. Just a side note though, this box here that says advanced is where you would use your own view key if you wanted to add to another wallet. Click submit, click approve, and wait for the transaction to go through. So we regenerated the key, Let's go back to view our transactions. We have the old view key right here. We're going to try and hit the search again using the same old key. Now you can see it says wrong view key for this address or viewing key not set. And that, my friends, is how to save, use, and revoke access with your viewing keys on the secret network. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, subscribe, and share it with someone who it could help. Also, check out our other content on Secret Network and join our socials.